All right, ladies and gentlemen, since we just finished talking about appearances, why don't we move on and talk now about graphic styles? Since, after all, what are graphic styles? But just a collection of appearances. What I want to do is move this fly out over here so you can get a better look at it as we work. Now let me go ahead and select the rocket text that we worked on in the last lesson and let's take a look at the appearances that we applied to it to refresh our memories. Now what I want to do is take these appearances and turn it into a graphic style so we can use it over and over again. And in Adobe Illustrator CS4 that becomes a very simple task. All you got to do is grab this little chip right here I don't know if it's really called a chip, but that's what I call it. Just left click, grab it, and drag it over to the graphic styles tab. And that thing spring loads and pops out like you see here. And then just drag it down here and add it to the palette. Now that has become its own graphic style. Everything that makes up this bit of text right here is now its own self-contained graphic style. And we can apply it to whatever we want. Let me show you how to do that. All you do, I've got this little bit of text here typed out in advance. Just select it and then just click on it to add it. But before you do that, let's take a look at one of the other new features in Adobe Illustrator CS4 and that's the preview feature. Just hover over this little chip right here and then hold down the right mouse button and it gives you a nice little preview. Doing that makes it easy to take a look at how any of these graphic styles are going to look when applied to that text. Great little feature. See that? The other thing you can do, and I don't use this, but it's available, is turn all of your previews into a text preview. And there you go. There we go. Now, folks, let me show you this. First, let me go ahead and apply this graphic style. Now I want to show you another trick that CS4 introduced. It used to be in previous versions that, that um, once you have a graphic style selected, any other graphic style that you clicked on, it just replaced the other graphic style. That was your only option. Now, let me go back to this graphic style. You have the option of stacking graphic styles one on top of another. And you do that simply by alt-clicking. Let me show you. Now, there you go. You can see it still has this graphic style applied to it, but it also stacked this graphic style on top of it. And let me show you what that graphic style contains. And we can do that by just going back to the appearance palette. With this selected, it's going to show you all of the new appearances that we have. And if you'll recall, these up here are what we had applied ourselves in the previous lesson. And now we just stacked this new graphic style containing these appearances onto this text. And it actually looks pretty good. And I just did it at random. But let's take a look at uh, exactly what we added here. You can see we added two new strokes. Okay, one that's uh, beige and one that's a little bit darker beige. You can turn them on and off just like we talked about in the last lesson. It also added a drop shadow that is applied to this stroke here. And look at this bit of beige text here. It has a transform um, effect applied to it. Let's open that up and take a look. See what they're doing here is they're offsetting that stroke one point to the horizontal and one point to the vertical. And you can see that's what gives it this bit of perspective here. Really looks pretty good. So now if you like this entire set that you have here, you can turn that into a graphic style as well using the same procedure we already talked about. Just grab this chip, drag it over here, spring loads, drag it down, and there you go. Now you have that as a graphic style. Quite wonderful, isn't it? 